Hello. Now, here is a case. What if inside your application you have a table of tasks and each task can have different status, like planned, in the progress and done, or you have a list of posts and each post can have a different status, like draft, published, or unpublished. Well, you would want to add a status column to your posts table, for example, and add a button to be able to change the status. And this is what we are going to do in uh, this episode. So here I have a list of posts, they have a title and content. And now we're going to add one more uh, attribute, one more column named the uh, status. So let's do this. I will say rails generate migration, add status to posts, status, it will be a string. And going into the migration, going to db migrate, here we have a string, we will say null will be false, and by default, each post will be a draft. So default draft. Okay, and now let's run the migration, rails db migrate. Okay, and now if we go to any post, we'll go to posts uh, show. So we will open any post, we will add the status to be visible. Let's do this, I will add the uh, post.status. And you see, by default, the status is uh, draft and we'll make it uh, an option to be able to change the status. Well, first of all, we should list all the available statuses somewhere. And we are not going to do it inside the form. We are going to make it so that we can change the status directly in the view with clicking a button. And this is the interesting part, not as a drop down inside the form, but just as a button. So you click the button and the status changes. Well, we will go to our post.rb and uh, add a list of uh, possible statuses. So I will say, uh, status or statuses equals and i will say uh, draft then uh, published and uh, unpublished okay and we can actually try to fetch this list of statuses inside our console i will go into the console and say post statuses okay and we can get post statuses dot first or post statuses dot zero or dot two. So it kind of works. And uh, now going back to our post.rb, we will actually just in case add an additional validation that validates status presence true. Okay, so now we have a list of available statuses. We can actually list the statuses also inside our post. I will say equals post statuses. Let's see what it gives us. Okay, here are the available statuses. And we'll make it so that we can press any of the statuses and the status in the database will be updated to the one that we just clicked. So uh, for this, we'll need to add uh, a link, we'll need to add a root, we'll need to add a controller action. Let's start with a root. So we're going to go to our config, roots, and here we have resources posts. We will say do. Now we are going to do an action on a single post. So we will say member do. And we will say patch. Uh, and we will patch uh, uh, update status. Okay, and now we can add this update status to our posts controller. So going to our posts controller, we will add an action named uh, update status. And as it is member do, uh, we will uh, be able to, and we will have to set uh, the post. So we can just add uh, uh, this update status inside our before action, or we can uh, go and uh, find the post by params ID inside of this update status. So we will take post equals post find by params ID and uh, we will have some kind of action here. We will update the status. We'll have something like post dot uh, post dot update uh, status, and the status will be updated with the status that we pass uh, inside our form. So we are going to pass a status with some kind of params. Well, the params are going to be 
a params status and we will redirect we will redirect to uh, the current post and we'll have a notice uh, status change to the new status so yeah i will make it double like this so that we can pass in uh, uh, some code inside we will say status change to at post dot status okay and uh, let's see if this would work well we would need to first of all add this link so we would go and see this new route that we created let's go to our routes and uh, it would be something with update status okay here we have update status post path and we would need to add this path inside of our link well we would need to have a link so for each status we would add a separate link so going back we have three statuses and for each status we'll have a link we will say post statuses dot each do uh, status okay and we would have an end here then we wouldn't have equals here and for each status we would have a link so we would say equals link to uh, then we would have the name of the status then the path would be update status post path then we need to pass in the post so we would say add post and we would need to pass in the status as the params so the params for status will be this uh, status so that when we go to posts uh, controller inside of params status we have uh, this kind of value we have a value as draft published or unpublished okay going back to our show view uh, let's see yeah we would need to add a method so the method would be a patch method okay and we are closing the braces and now let's see if this works so going back i will refresh and you see we have uh, three buttons i'll press the button to make it unpublished for example and you see status changed to unpublished and the status actually was changed to unpublished so it kind of works but we'll make some more additional improvements so uh, what if we want to make the link to the currently selected status unavailable well we would add the uh, some tweaks to this link we would say link to unless and we would uh, say it is a link to unless uh, uh, at post dot status dot equals so eql uh, params status i think to s so if uh, the status is the one selected then the link will not be available now i will add a comma here and let's see if this works okay it looks like it didn't work so uh, linked on less let's say i will edit without uh, 2s okay well, actually, why am I getting from the param status? I'm just going to get it from this status, sure. So, uh, if the current status is the one that uh, is in the database, then the link is not available. And you see, we don't need to have this published visible here anymore. We can just have the list of all the available statuses and the links will be available to those that are not currently selected and you can have only one selected. So you see, now it kind of works. We select a status, we make it draft, for example, status change to draft and it works. And just one final layer of security. So just in case somebody tries to uh, tamper with your uh, database, if somebody tries to do something like this, we will uh, try to update the status to be published, let's say, with letter 2. Okay, I will press uh, published. And you see, status changed to published 2. So it worked. I slightly tempered with the database. And if I display the post status, 
So the status was changed to published to. And you see neither of these available statuses is selected. So you should not let the hackers kind of do such kind of stuff. And you would want to add some kind of additional small layer of security. So you would say uh, uh, if, uh, uh, if params status dot present and uh, uh, if uh, post statuses dot uh, includes uh, the status that is uh, provided in the params. So if it includes param status and you would add to sim, so it would be a symbol like uh, draft, but not a string like draft. Then this action would work. And uh, otherwise it wouldn't work. So if it uh, manages to update, we would have status change to and uh, otherwise we would have some kind of alert that uh, you're a hacker and we know it. So redirect to post, alert, stop hacking. Okay, and let's see if it works. So uh, I will change the status to draft, for example. Works, and now I will go and uh, try to change one of the statuses. So I will make it published three and press. And you see, we get the stop hacking. So now it works. And basically it is a really kind of cool approach in my opinion to uh, be able to like press uh, a button uh, without going into the a form. And in some cases uh, just ch change the status or uh, the progress of uh, something in your application. This way you can change the status of a task, like it was done or not, you can publish and publish a post and do lots and lots of things. And uh, from all the approaches uh, I've seen around the web, I think this one is kind of the coolest uh, in this particular domain. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the episode and uh, goodbye.